fashion and politics is it uh, remember that uh, you have a creative sector so when you talk about creative sector it means that it's an economy so when you talk economy like uh, the different way that we were that the president also spoke about and saying that we're going to take what we do here in africa and take it to the world so politics uh, economy are one thing um if they didn't tell you you look deeper so if they would open the Apagui Cabinet Department of Fashion, would you? <laughs> uh, Department of Fashion. No, um, I, I wish, I wish, I wish. You know, there's a there's an African designer who actually designed. He's from Nigeria. His name is uh, Sholex Lewis. Yeah. Um, he's the one who designed the look. Because for me, you know, I think it's quite important that uh, if you look deeper, it must be done by an African. What inspires your look? Well, it's a combination of Western and traditional African dress mm -hmm. uh, because I wanted to mix the two. Remember, there's a, there are a lot of racial tensions in the country. I'm trying to show that the different race groups, together with their cultures and traditions, can coexist peacefully in South Africa and in harmony. But I think the other more important point which I'm trying to demonstrate to South Africans, especially young people, is that we need to be proud of who we are. Uh, so if you look at this this jacket, for an example, it's a Nguni jacket because it's got influences of Mbondos and Swazis and Zulus and Bagdas people. If you look at this, is traditionally Kosa. Well, we're still out here at the Sona 2019 and fashion is on another level. Right next to me is the incredible, the gorgeous, the beautiful Ubabala. You look amazing. Thank you so much, Nkosi. <laughs> it's a pleasure. You about your outfit. You always look gorgeous, by the way. Tell us about your outfit, Namtlanj. Well, today I decided, because it's my first appearance at the parliament, at the opening, whatever, the yeah. sauna, I decided to make sure that I totally stand out. Yeah. I didn't want to come in in a formal, uh, classic-looking outfit. I wanted to stand out and be bright and, yeah. and glitz and climb. Yeah. What inspired you, Thank you. Thank you. I'm dressed by Jessica Mbangini of Quanto. Uh, uh, what inspired the look? I said, um, it is my inauguration as the president of Kosatu attending a son. I've always attended as a deputy president. Yes. Now I'm attending it as the president. But importantly, I said, traditional has always been about black and white, you know. And, uh, but also what inspired the colors are of a trade union movement. <laughs> so, so I said when the president of the federation representing workers in this country is coming to the state of the nation address, I better even if I'm not in my overalls, at least to retain the colors that has inspired us because they speak uh, volumes. Yeah.